Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about five different tools and techniques and products and things to use to reduce uh, fine lines and wrinkles in the in the specifically in the eye area, and also how to prevent them. So if you want to hear my tips, tricks, and tools on how to prevent these fine lines and wrinkles from forming and to lessen them if you already have them, then just keep watching. And a portion of today's video is sponsored by Nira. So Nira is an at-home laser device and it basically is made to prevent and also to treat fine lines and wrinkles in the eye area. It has been clinically approved to do so and it is approved by the FDA to do so as well. So it is a really, really cool device. In a second, I'm gonna to get to a demo portion where I show you how I use it, but just a couple of things to know about it. So this works by triggering a protein in our cells, specifically in the endoplasmic reticulum called heat shock protein. And what happens to heat shock protein is when it gets shocked by heat conditions, it gets stimulated to bind to collagen and, or bind to pro-collagen, and it induces the formation of collagen in the skin. So this is really great if we want to, you know, build up collagen and improve the appearance, the firmness, and reduce fine lines and wrinkles, uh, specifically in your eye area, which is really cool and it has a bunch of different heat settings and you basically want to be using this to the point where you can tolerate it and it's not painful but you want to use it kind of as high as you can for me i have really sensitive skin sensitive eyes so i just use it on the level one that's enough for me and yeah it is a really cool device to use in the eye area you can also treat other areas of your face with it you know be it forehead wrinkles or fine lines around the mouth and everything and it just really does use you know our body's natural tools to rebuild collagen by shocking that protein called heat shock protein into building collagen for us. So really cool how it works. It is very effective. I've been using this for about just over 30 days now and I can definitely tell a difference in my eye area specifically. I am also using it on my forehead to treat just, you know, some shock lines on my forehead and this definitely does have an effect on the firmness and just the overall appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I have a really deep wrinkle right here that I've had since I was like 10 just from how I sleep on my face and since using this and nothing else has worked on it like no retinol or anything or any of the other tools that I'm going to talk about have worked on it but I've noticed a big difference in the, the depth of that wrinkle since starting to use Nira. So, Thank you so much to Nira for sponsoring this portion of the video and I'm just going to cut to a little demo here to show you how to use the product and then we will get on to um, our other tips and tricks for fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys now how I use the Nira and I do use this morning and night. So you want to have cleansed skin with no product on it and you want to make sure your skin is dry. You don't want to use this on wet skin or like on top of any other product. So you just simply turn it on. It makes that noise and this is where all of the different settings are it's really hard to see with the camera light but you can go through the different ones i just use it on the lowest setting because i do have really sensitive skin so i'm just going to zoom you guys in hello so i can show you how exactly i use this uh on my face so i do around my eye area and i have noticed like a really big difference in i mean I still have pretty puffy under eyes, but I have noticed I have a really big wrinkle that I've always had here from sleeping and I've noticed a big difference in the change in that since I started using this. And then also just like the, the firmness of the skin around my eyes, I've noticed a big difference. So I'm just going to show you how I use it. So you press this button here to, uh, this button here to actually initiate the laser and I just do it in a formation. And if you hear that noise, that means it didn't get good contact. So I do like two lines basically under my eye and then I do on my eyelid just one line and I do this above the crease just to strengthen that skin. Now I'll go ahead and do the other eye and you want to do this to the point where you are comfortable like you don't want to be in pain here so for me just because I'm so sensitive and the skin around my eyes is so fine. I just do it on the first level, level one. 
And then I also do it on my forehead. It's really hard for me to see what I'm doing in the viewfinder, but I just go along my wrinkle lines on my forehead. And when you hear that, I kind of interrupted it, but that means I've been doing it for two minutes, which is like, that's that. And then sometimes I do here, just anywhere where you do have small fine lines. And it's just that simple. So I do this morning and evening, and I've definitely noticed a difference just in, I'll try and zoom you in even more. I mean, I have always had a really deep wrinkle here, like even since I was young. And I've just noticed since using this that it's much, much less. And this is this because is I sleep on my face like this. That's why I've always had that wrinkle there. But it is really much less. And yeah, just this is another tool and technique that you can use at home to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and overall like strengthen your skin, build collagen, um, you know, even out skin texture, reduce dark spots or dark under eyes, all of that jazz. So I definitely love my Nira and I will continue to use this every day, twice a day. It's just a really nice step in your routine. And you know, once you make that initial purchase, it's forever yours and it, you just recharge it using the just the charger that it comes with here i think it's just a uvc cord and yeah very simple to use and very very effective and i know a lot of people have had really great results from it so that is why i'm sharing this with you guys okay next up and this is definitely more for the prevention and also the progression of fine lines and wrinkles you have to be wearing an spf all around your eye area this is really, really important to make sure that you get one that doesn't sting your eyes. I know that a lot of people have issues with chemical sunscreens around the eyes, but I mean, I can use them if I'm just really careful, but you do want to be applying sunscreen all the way into, you know, wherever you have skin. So in the inner corner here, all up the eyelid, you know, your under eyes and your eyelid. And that's really important because sun is like the number one contributing factor to developing wrinkles in the skin. And it, I mean, wrinkles always start out with fine lines. Yeah, you just gotta protect that area. So tip number two is SPF always. Now tip number three is sunglasses. So when you wear sunglasses, you are doing a few things. If you have nice big sunglasses like this, you can actually block a lot of the sun rays from coming into your, your eye area. And so a lot of, just you have to double check what kind of sunglasses you have, but a lot of them do prevent uh, UVA and UVB penetration so they're gonna reflect all those rays and then you're not getting that in your eye area and then it also prevents you from squinting like if it's really sunny out and you're just doing this all the time your skin is going to be creating those wrinkles and you're gonna just have more of them versus if you're wearing sunglasses like this you can have your eyes nice and wide and open and not squinting and creating those wrinkles so wearing sunglasses is a really cool tool and that is just you know, it's not skincare, but it cares for your skin, so I'm including it, and I think it's really important to wear sunglasses if you are out in the sun. So get yourself a good pair, and if you have a nice big pair like this, the more area that it's gonna cover is kind of just the better, because then not only do you have sunscreen on, but you have another UV protector, which is just the lens of the glasses itself. So that's tip number three. Now tip number four is retinol. So retinol really is the ingredient, the number one ingredient in skincare that's going to boost collagen production to the point of really both reversing and preventing fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes. So get yourself a good retinol. If you've never used retinol, then you definitely want to start out slow. I have lots of other videos on retinol, which I'll try and link here. I'll, I'll link in the description box um, about me starting retinol and my experience with it and how I kind of slowly progressed it. But now I am using retinol every single night. And yeah, I just think it is an important step. If you can tolerate it, then that's perfect. So get yourself a nice retinol that you like. Right now I'm using the advanced retinol system from C City Beauty. I really like this because it's two step. It's really gentle on my skin. Step one is like a nice light cream and then or nice light lotion and then step two is like this yellow cream and this one's really thin and this one's a bit thicker but I mean that's just how their retinol system is formulated to be I find it very gentle while being extremely effective it also smells divine I absolutely love it but yeah get yourself a good retinol that is really the best way to prevent and to treat fine lines and wrinkles in the skincare department and I think that you know around the age 25 is when well if you're like me that's when you kind of start noticing more of these settling of fine lines and wrinkles and that's when you kind of want to start thinking about prevention and so that's why i started retinol at 25. 
other things that just can really help, of course, is just keeping your under eye and your eyelid area hydrated. Like when our skin is dehydrated, it does look more wrinkly and the more time that your skin is left dehydrated, the more those wrinkles are going to set in. So just always keeping your skin hydrated. That's not a numbered tip that I'm doing. That's just a little in-between tip. That's tip four and a half, I guess. That's four and a half. Hydration. Hydration is definitely key. Um, for your eye area to just not have dehydrated skin is going to help prevent and like plump and hydrate your skin so you are reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And then tip number five is vitamin C. So vitamin C is definitely not going to work as strongly as retinol in really reversing and preventing those fine lines and wrinkles but what it is going to do is it's going to build up kind of firmer skin. Vitamin C is really important in collagen production so having a vitamin C product around the eye area is going to, first of all, just prevent damage caused by free radicals because vitamin C is a really strong antioxidant, so it can combat and fight those free radicals that can then cause damage on the skin. It's really going to help with uh, like the firmness of the skin, which ultimately can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It is also very brightening, so when you have a nice bright eye area, you're reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So definitely get a good vitamin C product. Right now I'm trying out a new vitamin C product and this one is from the brand called Creamy and this is a 10% vitamin C serum. It is just like a gel serum, really, really basic formula. I've just been testing it out uh, for the past little bit and it's just, you know, it's an effective vitamin C product for sure. So with vitamin C, um, you don't, you really don't want to get it in your eye. I mean with any, any of these products, you don't want to get them in your eye. So just when you're working around the eye area, just be really careful and it's better to apply more product like lower or higher and kind of work it towards than to have like a big glob like here per se. So definitely make sure that the product that you're applying is in a nice thin layer, not big glump clumps and gloopy and everything because then it's more likely to actually go into your eye which you don't want because these powerful skincare ingredients like vitamin C, like retinol, like the SPF ingredients, those can all be extremely irritating if you actually get them in your eye. That's not what you want. Also with vitamin C, it can um, irritate the eye area so use something that you know is a vitamin C product that you're comfortable with and not something that's just like super strong and totally new so you definitely want to make sure that your skin is okay with that product before even putting it in your eye area. Doing things like patch tests are really important. So just some things to keep in mind. But yeah, those are my five kind of basic tips and tricks for and tools for treating the eye area to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and also to prevent them happening in the future. And of course, everything that I mentioned is not a cosmetic procedure. Lots of people do get things like Botox. And you can also get things like filler around the eye areas to kind of plump and reverse and prevent the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. But I'm just talking about pure skincare tools and techniques and tricks and products that you can use in that area to just overall reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful, useful. Let me know if there's any things that you specifically do or any products that you found really work in your eye area for reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And thank you so much to Nero for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I love the laser and I am gonna to continue to use it twice a day, every day to just build up that collagen and keep improving on my results. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.